What's going on guys? I'm Justin Swanstrom. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. So today's video, I'm going to go ahead and let y'all know off rip, we are going to be mic'd up. That means I'm going to have uh, an external wireless mic hooked up to me at all times. Uh, hopefully the sound quality is great. I did stay out here for an hour last night trying to figure out how did this thing all work because it picks up everything. It picks up my footsteps. It picks up the birds out there in the woods chirping, picks up the mosquitoes outside buzzing around. So I do apologize if the quality is off a little bit. I will figure out how it works 100% and get it right for y'all boys. But anyways, I wanna go ahead and uh, start off with this video with we're gonna be outside in the shop today because y'all do know we got the motor back together. The only thing we have to do now is throw the bottom oil pan on and throw the headers on this side. Once we get that stuff on, the silicone dries this afternoon, we will be firing it up to see if we have all the problems fixed. I think we do. Big Country thinks we do. And let's hope and pray that God thinks we do too because I do not want to tear this thing back apart. We have to go test it in two days, Bradenton Motorsports Park, go out there, lay down some serious numbers to get ready for Darlington Dragway next weekend to run the 275 class. Also guys, we have hats back in stock. I released them on the website last night, www.swangang.com. Y'all went over there, y'all have bought a lot of stuff. Uh, it's selling very fast, so make sure y'all go over there and get y'all stuff, boys. I wanna go ahead and let you know that the camo and black hat with the SG logo on the side is back in stock. Plus, we have a new design. That's right, boys. That's the Swan Gang emblem with the spray can on the side on the black and camo. Everybody knows we got the new American flag theme with the SG logo up into the stars. So we're bringing out a bunch of bangers for y'all boys. It looks great. It feel great. These things are nice and comfortable. Uh, we do have curve bills. We have flat bills. We are also going to be doing flex fits here soon. I know a bunch of people have been emailing me asking about flex fits. I am getting them in the making of getting done. They just got to process, got to wait till everything's done. I want it to be 100% right before I release it out to the public to y'all. All right guys, so let's jump into this video. Like I said, the only thing we have to do is throw the bullhorn, the header on this side of the car, throw the oil pan up underneath. We are gonna have a couple different camera footages rolling today. A lot of people ask me what I shoot with. So today's video will be shot with a Canon M50 that's what's in my hand right now. Two GoPros, we'll have one up there on the top you'll be able to see over the car, and then we have another one that'll be on a tripod. We're gonna be able to get up underneath the car, get around and get everything situated, plus my iPhone 11. So we're using four different cameras, plus the external wireless mic for this video. Hopefully everything comes out great, and y'all love the quality of this, this vlog. Uh, y'all go ahead and drop a comment down below, and let me know what you think or what I can approve on. I love being able to be better the following video the next day. So y'all let me know what we can improve on over here to keep on bringing y'all some fire ass videos out to y'all. Check out our little bird up there. He's up there by the light. I don't know how to make that noise. Most of y'all don't know, I know how to speak bird. I bet you y'all can't do that. All right, boys, so we run a, a two-piece oil pan. So as you can see, this piece right here, ugh, mom's all in oil. This piece right here comes off the bottom, you're able to get to it, and then there's another pan that bolts up top. If you were to take the crank and stuff out, you gotta drop that pan. But uh, with this little pan down here, being that it's a dry sump, uh, all the oil stays up in the, uh, the tank up there. And uh, this pan down here holds maybe a quart, quart and a half of oil at all times. But uh, you're able to drop this thing out, get the rods, pistons, get everything out easily. Oh boy. Got to give her a little love and tug. Let's get some, uh, let's get some nuts on this thing.
go ahead and uh, slap these oil lines on real quick, tighten them up, and then we are done down here. My fucking arms are tired. All right, guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and slap the headers on. We gotta get our silicone. Uh, I run all different kinds of silicones. You see the different colors on there. They got red, they got gray, they got black. For this go around, we're gonna throw gray back on it. Uh, it's just a high uh, torque, high temperature, maximum temperature uh, gasket deal that we gotta go on there because these headers do burn at a high temperature. So you wanna make sure that you don't just burn the silicone away. Uh, these things right here are a machine finish, just like the heads are a machine finish. So, I mean, Realistically, you could just put these on the heads and because they're two machine finishes and they fit so perfectly, you really don't need a silicone. So that's why we don't cake the silicone on there. All we do is just do a little thin bead, get a little wet, wet, and then we throw it on there real quick. So we're gonna go through real quick. We're gonna go ahead and slap the silicone on this. We're gonna get it on there, throw our nuts on and get this project rolling. later. What the fuck? One hour later. So we're back out here today. Sorry about that. I had to take care of some business. Uh, I've headed out to a job with one of the guys because work does come first uh, before racing. So I had to go out there, get them all lined up. Now we're back in the shop. I just primed the motor. I got oil coming through all the push rods on top of the rocker arm. So we're gonna go through. We're gonna set all these rockers real quick. All our cold settings are set at 10 thousandths, boys. Uh, we set the cold settings at 10 thousandths. Between eight and 10 thousandths in uh, hot setting, that means once the motor has ran, made a track uh, pass down the track, comes back to the pits, we set them between 14 and 16 thousandths. Uh, but also I wanna let y'all know, Another hat that came out. It's got the Swan Gang logo on the front, black and charcoal, very comfortable. Go ahead and head over there to www.swangang.com. Pick up your merchandise, boys. Let's go ahead and jump into adjusting these valves.
All right, so we got these valves checked over here. Uh, basically what I do is, is this is a, basically a valve latch tool and what I uh, set on 10 thousandths right now. I just go in there and I make sure I got a snug fit. Just push it in there. If it's too hard, it'll bend it or they don't want to go in. You got to loosen the, the valve up or it could be too loose and it's very just floppy. Uh, it does change the tone of the motor, it does change how it runs. So you do want to make sure that you have them properly set right. And after you make a pass to make sure they don't move and they're properly set for the next outing, the next qualifying or even test run so we do take the motor uh, valve covers off and we do go through the valves on every run plus check the spring pressure all right guys so before we jump over to the other side real quick I want to go ahead and uh, show you this is an LSM tool basically this is what a spring checker is uh, what we do is we set this thing on the back side of the uh, rocker arm and we pull down on the spring it's got a gauge up here that tells me uh, a good set of springs on one of these high horsepower motors can read between 420, 450, sometimes up to 500. If they get down around 350, 325, I go ahead and change springs and then usually every other freshen up, we put a new set of springs on the car anyways. But uh, we did have one break because of that backfire the other day and that's what you heard was uh, whenever that thing backfired, it kicked back on the motor because these things do have a lot of spring pressure, a lot of compression inside them and they kicked it back and it broke that spring. Uh, even though we fired it up afterwards, it could still run, but it is not really recommended because you could possibly drop a valve and destroy something. We didn't know it broke it until we tore it apart. But uh, I'm going to go through right now and I'm going to check all my spring pressures just to make sure nothing else has either gotten weak or is broke before we fire this bad boy back up again. Just left off the rip, this side, huh? Just let this one cool down. 
Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know, maybe after running a little bit, maybe it'll clean this side up. I never had that problem before. It ain't in the cylinders. I mean, I checked the run out in the cylinders, so I don't know. Make sure you cut the rings the same as you did the other times. Yeah, the rings are cut good. Just like I've always cut them. I mean, it's for sure it's not smoking like it was last time. So. It cleaned it up. All right, guys, so, yeah, I'm holding the mic in my hand. I'm just too sweaty. It's too damn hot out here to be able to put the mic back under the shirt and get all situated. But uh, we fired it up. Uh, we have a little bit of smoke coming out of the right side, passenger side of the, the motor, and uh, we're just going to let it be. Uh, it ain't going to hurt it performance-wise, guys. Uh, we do not know why. Uh, maybe just, I don't know, set of rings or something. I don't know. But we're going to go test this weekend, Friday. Uh, Friday night we'll be down at Bradenton Motorsports Park. Hopefully we can get some passes off. Hopefully this side will make it through the night. It'll live. Get some hits off. And then this weekend we're going to go ahead and tear the right side down and just change the rings inside that side as well so we can get ready for Darlington next weekend. Uh, smoke did go away on the driver's side. For some reason it's still wet over there on the exhaust while the exhaust on the passenger side is nice and dry. So, man, me personally, I don't know uh, really what's going on. Dad, he said not to worry about it. Let's go ahead and go out there, pull all the nitrous down to it, and let's just see what she runs and uh, let's see what she goes. But uh, that's going to be it for today's vlog. I don't want to make this video too long. Uh, again, I want to appreciate each and every one of y'all that is subscribed to the channel. If you're not subscribed to the channel, boys, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Turn that bell notification on. We got some cool stuff coming up here soon. We also got the deal where every $10 you spend on the website it gives you two free tickets for next month's giveaway. I'm going to be flying two people out to the state of Florida, Tampa, Florida. I will pick you up at the airport on Friday. I will drop you back off on Sunday. I'll give you a place you can stay, eat, have fun with the boys for the weekend. You get to come hang out with the crew and the family and just all around have a good time. Uh, but new merch is in. I can't say that enough. Y'all are going to get annoyed with me trying to say it, but everything that y'all buy from there goes right back into the race cars, boys. And uh, the LS car over there, uh, Category 5 race cars, it's over there getting built right now. Firewall is done. The turbo is mounted. Uh, we will be doing a video next week, a little bit of update on that. We also will be heading over back over to r and Fab, Dennis Rogers, and uh, doing a little update on the vehicles that he's got over there. Uh, we got some cool stuff happening with Alcatraz back there in the back here soon. We got some races coming up like Darlington. We also got... Uh, the Yellow Bullet Nationals, that's up in Cecil. I think that's in Maryland, up north. We get to switch the car over, put it on 315s, go out there and try to crush the 10-5 boys in the mouth and uh, just have all around fun. But uh, at the end of the day, I want to thank you all for sticking with us this long. Let's keep on growing. This is the road to 50,000 subscribers. We're going to get there, boys. I can only do it with you all. Y'all are what makes this whole entire channel as a whole. So I'll see you all at the next video. Y'all make sure that you all subscribe and make sure you like this video and uh, keep on sharing it with your friends. I'll see y'all later.